Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sensei here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. So today I'm gonna show you my fortress defense video. Uh, I posted a video like a couple weeks ago, I guess, one week ago, in which I showed 10 out of 10 defense wins uh, with my new fortress layout, which I made. So it got a good response, and a lot of people have been asking me to show the full map of my fortress. So yeah, here it is. And first thing I would like to say is that. This fortress is not like 100% best or the best fortress or something like that. It, it's not the case. It's just something I made and it's been working for me. It might not work for you. I don't know. Mostly the fortress nowadays is dependent on the stats of your shinobis. I mean, nowadays, if you have a good power shinobi like SS rank or something, a lot of HP and resistance and stuff, then your fortress will work just fine. Doesn't matter whether you have traps best trap placement or not so but yeah for normally like this fortress will give you a good result if you are losing a lot so uh, uh, also this fortress won't work against you know someone who is really skilled and knows how to counter every trap placement and shinobi so don't get disheartened just because you are not winning against some powerful shinobis or powerful players who know how to attack so yeah as usual i always say that the fortress layout and trash placement plays like 30 percent role 30 35 percent role in your wins rest 60 65 percent 70 percent role is played by the stats of your shinobis how good your shinobis are in the fortress so if you have weak units and if you use this base it might not work for you because strong shinobis are a must have in the current meta so yeah let's get started i lost my best friend to 23 she left her body in harvard above me So the very first thing you have to do with your fortress that just purchase all the terrain sets because when you do that you will have the maximum amount of uh, tornado traps and all the stuff BR traps and stuff otherwise you will have like less number which I have used in the base so first purchase everything every terrain set then go with this terrain set uh, terrain set 24 rank 7 which I am using currently in this fortress you can go with any other you want but uh, I am right now using this one so we are gonna use this fortress and save it and then remove all the installations by going to the installation and just uh, clicking on the clear button then for fort appearance i am going with this snow one uh, you can go with anything you want but i personally prefer this white one because it uh, you know it has camouflages which uh, hides the traps better so that uh, the uh, attacker doesn't have a good look of the trap placement so yeah you can go with anything you want i personally prefer the snow one so let's start with the first room in which we have an installation that uh, allows uh, installations to be protected against ninjutsu and ultimate jutsu so you will have to use basic attacks to destroy the installation as long as it's here and we are going to use this blue water style mask which creates puddles which throw you which throw the enemies uh, to different rooms and uh, so it almost works like tornado traps and this one is a white one which throws the enemies in the same room so you know level 3 and level 1 tornado traps same as that and we are using this and followed by three tornado traps here uh, because the supporters will run towards the installation to destroy it and get separated and uh, even if you destroy this by hand the blue one they will get thrown away to any room possible so uh, let's come to the second room which is here just in case a support uh, gets thrown in this room and tries to run towards the uh, you know main main shinobi and that supporter will also get thrown away to either left right or 
depending on where it is coming from if it is coming from center then he might be get thrown away to the last room if it is coming from the right it may get thrown in the right room or left room you know depends so yeah it is uh, this is the placement and this one this white mask is just there to you know confuse them and throw them here and there and yeah And now coming on to the bottom right room, we have this slug healing and normal shinobis. This is just to waste time so that if supports, uh, you know, get thrown here and they will have to deal with these until they can rejoin the uh, main shinobi. And if they manage to destroy these shinobis as well, then we have some tornado traps and beer traps in the front so that they get thrown again. So yeah, uh, it's, you can adjust the layout as you want. Uh, I mean, I'm just trying this here. It doesn't matter. So the main thing you have to be concerned is that the shinobis that get thrown into this room will land in the empty space. So wherever there is empty space, they will get thrown there. So yeah, adjust the layout accordingly like I'm doing right now. So yeah. Now coming on to the following room, again same kind of stuff, wasting time so that the supports will have less time to you know go towards the main and they will waste their time killing these uh, random units and also we have two tornado traps here just in case a main shinobi runs and they usually don't bother checking for traps at the last so yeah and yeah followed by weird trap and summoning yeah. So now coming on to the top right corner we have Kaguya you can use any time wasting shinobi here I am using Kaguya with only two jutsus uh, the four star and the invincibility one and I am not using the ceiling one because it breaks her combo and I don't have her ultimate still I am using, using her I gave her some HP so that she can survive a little bit of damage and I have a genjutsu trap here I couldn't find any place better so I just put the genjutsu trap here followed by these aroma pots and this wall and this uh, level 1 tornado traps so I was using KLM Minato instead of Kaguya before but uh, my KLM Minato is not that strong if you have a strong KLM Minato you can use it here or any time wasting shinobis uh, you can use instead of Kaguya I am just going with Kaguya even though I don't have her ultimate if you have her ultimate that's good don't use the ceiling jutsu because it's uh, it breaks her combos that's what I have figured till now so I have removed the ceiling jutsu and only the 4 star and uh, invincibility one makes her really uh, time wasting shinobi Now coming on to the bottom left corner we have uh, Shadow Sasuke here. You can use any shinobi with high defense you know like Jiraiya or any shinobi which has high defense and HP with you because the trap placement and the installation placement is such that he will get a lot of defense because of these aroma pots and this, uh, uh, this statue which allows the installations to be protected against ultimate jutsu and ninjutsu and followed by some basic trap ceiling scroll and mirror you can put whatever but I am going with this so uh, you can use EMS Sasuke also here if you have his full kit and if you have him at a good level like decent amount of HP and uh, uh, defense and stuff yeah so <laughs> Now followed by this room is very important. I was using a uh, wandering ninja Sasuke here before uh, Edo Tachi came. Now I'm using Edo Tachi because he is also great at using his Sosanos and stuff and you know can kill uh, really fast. I do. I am not using his uh, roundup tools yet because I have put the 
uh, many, uh, this nature on the roundup tool so that I will use him in Sam so when Sam ends I will put the tools on him and some HP so that I, he can have a lot of uh, you know he can be tanky enough right now he's not that tanky but he still works so make sure to use a new Susano because it's really useful and uh, you can use either the old crows or the new one I am going with the new one because it helps me with defense debuff so yeah and normal trap placement you can just copy it and customize it in your own way works for me and yeah so this is for Edo Itachi you can use any uh, high attack shinobi here Now coming on to the main uh, main fortress uh, room is this one. So I am using Madara as you know Madara's fire jutsu really one shots you know one shot two shots enemy and followed by these aroma pots in the back which give him more attack. So this toad house is just here so that when a main shinobi or support shinobi runs towards Madara he will get trapped and when he is trapped in this house, the other supporter will get killed by Madara, Susano and that fire style. So you know it just works good with Madara, I don't know about others. Uh, if you don't have Madara then you might want to change the setup of this and you might want to use something else here instead of the toad house. But for Madara this works really well and yeah. so. Just a basic uh, trap placement behind Madara, just two installations which give attack power, some beer traps, some ceiling, ceiling scrolls and yeah followed by this toad house which is really helpful. You can place it whatever you want uh, with a good shinobi, Madara is a good choice. <laughs> Coming on to the resuscitation ninja room and we have 6 path light and he works great for me. If you have Hashirama you can use Hashirama as well uh, with the new ultimate of course. So uh, we have 6 path Naruto light here and followed by this perfume trap and this aroma trap and also this installation at the back which gives a lot of attack. This tornado trap is just in case lot of times uh, the main shinobi forgets to check for traps here after fighting Naruto light so he or she any shinobi can get thrown either to the right room or to the left room depending on the angle of their run and it will wait waste a lot of time for them so yeah I am just using this here you can use whatever you want now for final room uh, this is my final room so I am using Rin, Narukage, Hashirama and Wandering Siska. Previously I was using Azotachi with the crows. So if you don't have the new kit, use Azotachi here. And yeah. So this team works for me because the combination is really great on this team. <laughs>
So that was it pretty much for the fortress and you can copy it or change it uh, whatever you want to. Uh, I would really recommend changing the trap placement here and there for watching the defense replay so that you, know, you can have the perfect trap placement. So yeah, also I will be leaving a couple of list of shinobis who are good for defense and final room at the end of the video so you can refer to that if you don't have these shinobis you can use them and maybe someone better you have so especially like instead of shadow sasuke you can use it jiraiya i don't have so yeah uh, that was it guys hope you enjoyed the video make sure to watch till end uh, there will be a tier list uh, basic tier list of fortress defense and final room which are currently best so yeah i'll see you next time sayonara